What's going on guys? Today on this video I'm going to show you exactly how to bind your Tiny Hawk 2 with your Tyrannus X90 Plus. So stay tuned. So the first thing you need to do is remove the SD card from your Tyrannus. You pop out the battery cover, you see the SD card in there, but you want to move the battery out of the way, push it in, and simply slide it out. Take your micro SD and put it inside of a USB to micro SD card reader. Now you plug your micro SD card reader into a USB port into your computer. Next, go to the FR Sky website, search for Tyrannus X90 Plus, and scroll down to Firmware XJT. If you're looking for the Assist D16 file. Go ahead and download it, save the file. Once it's done, open it up, extract all, go into the file, and you want to grab this FCC.FRK file. Go ahead, cut, and you remember that SD card that we plugged in? Go ahead and click on it, go to firmware, and then right click, paste that FCC file into there. Now we're all done here, so go ahead and eject the SD card and let's put it back into your Tyrannus controller. Remove your micro SD card and put it back into your Tyrannus remote. Let's go ahead and get the cover back on too. Now let's go ahead and turn on our Tyrannus. Welcome to OpenTX. So the remote gives you a warning that there is something on the SD card, you know, it may be something unexpected, and you go ahead and hit any key, go ahead and long press the menu button, press the page button, scroll down to see firmware, hit enter, scroll down to the assist file, long press enter, and then flash internal module. Once that's completed, then you can go ahead and click OK exit. I like to power cycle. Turn it back on. Welcome to OpenTX. Go ahead, press any key. Now plug a micro USB cable into the back of your Tiny Hawk 2 and then plug it directly into your computer. Open up Betaflight and click connect. Go to the configuration tab. Scroll down and make sure that you're in frsky underscore d. Then go to CLI. This is where you're going to set up the binding process. So go ahead and type bind underscore rx enter. The flashing red light indicates that this is in binding mode and now it's time to bind it to your Tyrannus. Go ahead and hit menu, page, hit the plus button and it'll take you directly to the bottom of the menu. Scroll up to where it says bind and it's already in D8 mode so let's go ahead and press enter. And as you can see it's no longer just a red flashing light but there are several different colors going off which is a very good indication that your Tyrannus is now bound with that Tiny Hawk. Now that the binding process is complete let's go ahead and type save. That will reboot the drone and now everything is all set inside the drone. Let's go ahead and stop the binding process. Hit exit. Telemetry recovered. That's a good sign. Keep hitting exit. And there you have it. Now the remote is showing that we are bound to the Tiny Hawk. Now let's go ahead and set up a few switches to arm and disarm the motors. Press the menu button. Press page and keep pressing page until you come to the inputs tab. Press the minus button and scroll down to input the next available input. Press enter and you want to give it a name so let's call it arm. Press the click the enter button, go to the letter A, press long press on the enter button so you can capitalize the letter. If you hold down the plus button it will speed it up Get to the letters, get to the letter that you want, press enter, and exit. Now what you want to do is you want to pick one of these switches to arm your drone. And for me personally, I like keeping things the same. You can use whatever one that you want that's available. 
I like to use this one as the arm switch. So let's go ahead and scroll down with the minus button, press enter, and then press that button and look, there it goes. Exit out until you can go to input six. And we're gonna call this one, oops, and we're gonna call this one mode. Once you're done with that, go ahead and hit the exit button and then scroll down with the minus button, press enter, and then set the mode switch. Go ahead and press the exit button until you get back to, to your input screen and then press page until you get to the mixes screen. Scroll down until the next available channel, press enter. And we are gonna call this auxiliary one or aux one. Press enter, A. Hold down that plus button, you'll get way up down. We press it. Press enter, go all the way up to the X. And for the numbers, you wanna just go past X, Y, Z, and then you get to one, two, three. Go ahead and exit, and then you can scroll down to the switches. Now, aux one, you want to set to the down position. I like to press things in the down position, so I'll leave it at that. Because if I'm like trying to like, oh, something went wrong, then I can just flick it and shut it off. And that's just me. You can do whatever, you can do it back or forward, whichever way you want. Go ahead and hit the enter button. Hit the exit button. Keep hitting exit. Press the minus button down to the next available channel. Press enter. We're going to call this one aux2. Go ahead and hit exit. Scroll down. Switch, and then you want to select the switch that you prefer to have the mode switch. I like this one as arm, I like this one as the mode switch, I like both of them facing towards me. Keep pressing the exit button until you get back to the menu. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that your arm switch and your mode switch are in the off position, pushed away from you, and your throttle is all the way down. So that when you plug the battery into your Tiny Hawk, it doesn't suddenly just take off and fly away. Because if you have this thing up even a little bit, and you hit that arm switch, with, and you're gonna plug this in, it's gonna just, it's gonna take off on you. So let's put the throttle down. And now let's go ahead and power up our Tiny Hawk. Telemetry recovered. It says telemetry recovered, it's a great sign. Let's go ahead and hit the arm switch. And let's see if it works. All right, so and there you have it. Now you've successfully bound your Tyrannus X90 Plus to the Emacs Tiny Hawk 2. All right, so with that being said, if you found this video to be really helpful, I would appreciate your help if you could hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.